in this video, I'm going to be talking to you today about one of the most underrated concepts in Gun Bunch. This play is really effective. It's easily quick snappable. You don't need any abilities to run this play well, but nobody really runs it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to run it in this video, and I think it's one of the best plays in the formation. If you want to get access to my entire Gun Bunch offensive ebook, we have several different versions of that available. You can get access to all of those ebooks by becoming a Patreon member. The link to sign up for that uh, is going to be down in the description for just $10. You'll get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So again, if you want to check that out, that is going to be linked down below. Now we're in the Cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook, but you can find this play in a lot of different formations. It's actually really helpful too for countering some of the metas that we are seeing um, here later in the Madden season. So bench pivot is the play. I do believe that this is one of the most effective concepts in the game um, for a lot of different reasons. So one of the best plays in bunch is this play verticals. Um, again, I'm in Cincinnati. You can find this in Colts. I'm pretty sure you can find it in Pretty much every bunch that is good, you're going to find bench pivot. But um, vertical. So you see how I can throw that in that little pocket right there in that seam area of the field? That is one of the reasons why verticals is so good. Because let's say, for example, that I'm trying to send some pressure. And, you know, let's say that we're trying to set up some a blitz here. And we do it like this. Okay, and we're going to use her right in here, right? And we're going to set up a nice little roll coverage, really good coverage defense. Um, one of the better ones, right? The flat route out of verticals is going to pull out the hard flat. And then you can throw this tight end route in this little pocket as a quick snap. So now they have to have a yellow zone and a hard flat to be able to defend uh, the play vertical as well. Bench pivot is very similar. So we have to have this vertical hook here to stop this, but we also have to have this hard flat. And so what this hard flat is going to do is it's going to stop the speed out. But now the beauty of this is now this little angled corner route is going to get up and out into, into space that a lot of people don't like to defend. And so again, this creates really cool concepts for you out of the bunch. Now, when I run this play, I would recommend to run this with your bunch to the short side of the field. It's gonna be a little bit more effective against other zones, but specifically double flat or cover two. Again, our first read is always the speed out. You see how I can throw that for about seven, eight yards? If that was just a basic out route, I would not be able to do that. But the beauty of this, little angled out route is also even if they're not pressing you in man coverage that can be a potential quick read for you as well in this offense so you have a quick read against man you also let's say they go to cover two the reason we love to streak this slot receiver or cover three i'm sorry is if they're not playing hard flats again throw that flat route it's one of the best flat routes in the formation because if they aren't playing hard flats you are going to be able to throw that over and over again for a gain of at least five to seven yards. Now, what if they do hard flat? If they do hard flat, then you can typically actually high point this deep, or um, you can typically high point this route to Carmichael, or if they stay with Carmichael, then what you're going to be able to do, they stay with him. Now I can throw this corner route in that little pocket right there. And as you can see, it really does make your uh, your offense significantly better. Why? Because let's go to a cover two now. So let's say they're, they're in cover two. Again, they're going to have to have a vertical hook. So maybe they run a coverage defense that looks kind of like this. Um, that cloud flat, they have to have a cloud flat. And that cloud flat is going to have to be backed off coverage. So then let's say they put a hard flat from the linebacker. Okay, so they put a hard flat for the linebacker. Now they're dropping a lot of people in coverage. And guess what? That hard flat from that linebacker can't get out there to defend the route. And so you see, this is very difficult to defend. Now, I also said that this is really good. One of the most popular concepts in Madden right now, um, if you want to play man coverage at a really high level, is to basically play shaded underneath man coverage with an outside third defender. This play does a really good job of attacking that because you'll see here he's going to light up. You just want to throw this to the sideline. Now, um, from a from a safety help perspective, uh, I'll show you something else that's really good about this setup here. Again, this is for shaded down man. So if they're shading down man coverage, you want to look to either your, your streak or you want to look to the tight end. When I throw the tight end, I can high point and free form up and outside 
and it will typically get it over the top of the coverage. But the other thing that's really interesting about this play is if I have enough time in the pocket, because a lot of people like to shade, um, or not shade, but take those deep halves, what would normally be a deep half, and they turn that into an outside third, if you have the short out elite ability, or really just able to beat press man, that route to Carmichael can be a potential big play um, over the middle of the field as well, because typically if you have the short out elite, he's gonna get separation um, on that on that player, and he'll burn press coverage. The point of this is if they guard the tight end, then typically Carmichael will be open up the middle. So you see here, just freeform that to space. And as you can see, that can burn the shaded down man coverage over the top for a one play score. So now they have to have deep halves or they have to have middle thirds and then they can't take the sidelines away. And so this does a really good job of attacking a lot of spaces on the field that people really don't wanna have to defend. You are able to attack up and over the middle the way the, the routes will work, those zones will never guard that tight end route. They have to have a very specific zone. The best zone that I have seen for guarding this uh, tight end route is a backed off cloud. And again, we have to assume, we have to assume that they're able to actually get that linebacker out there to stop the speed out route, which they almost never are. But a backed off cloud, he does play that, okay? But again, it's really important You've got to take that that quick flat. That quick flat makes this play really, really good because the hard flat has to come from the backer and the backer is going to have trouble getting out there because of where he's at on the field. So you can throw that quick out all day long. And then what that does is that is going to force your opponent to have to put this defender in a hard flat, this defender in a cloud flat, and then you know maybe even base align it. They need outside leverage. That's what's gonna help them stop it. So now they have outside leverage. You can't quite throw that, you can't quite throw that, but now guess what? I got the ultimate check down on the back side of the play with that nice deep in route. That nice deep in route is going to beat man and it is going to beat zone coverage consistently and it has done that for the last several years that I've been playing Madden. The deep in route, especially if it's smart or if it's stock, it's one hot route, we're into the play, and this is one of the most consistent plays. So what this play does is it forces a lot of adjustments on the bunch side. And then now we can come back maybe with a play like PA Reed, for example, and hit them with something like this to the left side. So when you could put you know these coupled concepts together, it can really take your offense to the next level. Thanks for watching the video. For more Madden 23 tips and tricks, make sure that you subscribe. And if you want to get my entire offensive and defensive ebooks, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to do so, and you'll get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks by becoming a member. You can head down to the description below and go sign up by clicking the link down below.